Hello everyone, this is Disney King here for an episode of Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. Well, sort of. So these clips I actually did when the last video I did, but I didn't release them because I wanted to make it a full episode, but the events happened, so I'm releasing these clips. But it is good to be back. There is actually a brand new Princess Majestic Quest update. I am not going to spoil it for you guys, because I want you guys to see when that video comes out. It's actually really cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't have anything to do with a new princess, but it does have something to do with the with two of them. And I think you guys will be really excited for that. And yeah, so hopefully soon I can finish the story with, you know, the, with Jasmine because it's actually really exciting. I'm actually have enough to go and, what you call it, get one of the princesses. I'm going to get Belle, just so you guys know. But yeah, but anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, please give the video a like and subscribe if you want to. Don't turn on your notification bell so you don't miss my videos. I try to post often as I can. So anyway, I just want to do a casual play because like where I last left off, we welcomed Abu and because Abu, Abu was stealing all the food. So we're getting enough so we can feed Abu some food because he's still hungry. I don't know, like, did he just not eat at all a much for the day or something? I don't know, the days that I'm like that too, when I'm just hungry for no reason, like... But, yeah. So, anyway, I do want to kind of talk about this thing that's been going on. It is about this attraction called Disney's Splash Mountain. Now, if you guys don't know what this attraction is, it is a very popular attraction at Disneyland and Disney World. Well, I think it's Disney World. Yeah. So, anyway. So, this attraction was very popular, but Disney is shutting it down. But, like, they're not shutting it down technically. They're just changing it to a different theme. So, it was originally based on this Disney movie called Song of the South. So, the movie has this really classic song called Zippity Do That. And, like, the song is, like, really classic of a Disney song, but not many people know where it comes from. And it's actually from this Disney movie that Disney banned. Now, you're probably thinking, what? How was it a Disney movie that was so inappropriate or something not good for kids that it had to be banned? Well, not all Disney movies are kid-friendly. So this Disney movie, it's not that it because it was not friendly. I don't really want to talk about why the movie is. It's just, I want you guys to find out for yourself. So if you can Google Song itself, you guys will know exactly what happened and why Disney doesn't want people to watch this movie. Like it is so bad that, it's not because it was bad, but there's something about it that people didn't like about it. Again, you guys can Google if you want to. So this movie, the problem of it was so bad that they won't even release it on Disney+. Plus. Yes. Like, Disney+, Plus has a lot of content that they don't have on DVD anymore, or, like, things that are really old, and they won't even show this one movie. Now, that is insane. So the attraction is going to be redesigned into a Princess and the Frog theme attraction, which I'm not complaining because I love Princess and the Frog. It is such an underrated Disney movie. But I do feel sorry for those who have been on the ride and really enjoyed it. Like, it sucks when you have something that you love and then it's replaced with something else. Especially since the attraction has been around for over 30 years now. Now that is insane. Now imagine that. Like, they're replacing an attraction that's been around for so long. Like, get yeah, it was an attraction that was forgotten and just got old and they stopped caring about. But something like this... Man. Okay, so let's do the quest now. What should we give a boo? Give a boo a banana. Give a boo a lychee fruit. Let's go with banana. Can't agree with the classic. Now, it's safe to bring out the rest of the food. <laughs> yeah, because it was eating it all.
anyway, back to the conversation. So again, the knocking with the attraction, they're just rechanging, they're just changing the design and the theming to Princess and the Frog. So this will take place after the kiss, which is really, really cool and really interesting because like you, you want to know what happens and what's been going on with Disney characters after their movies. Like, don't you ever wonder a little and see what's going to happen? Because I wonder that sometimes too, like how's their lives and is it better than it was before because like there's no such thing as happily ever after there's gonna be bumps there's gonna be problems nothing's gonna be perfect after the movie you know never fights or never problems or anything going wrong so it will be interesting to see what goes on in this attraction although i probably won't be able to ride it but as long as they do an update in disney's magic kingdoms early to the ride i'm not complaining because I was thinking maybe they can add to Disney's Magic Kingdoms and Princess Majestic Quest. So I was thinking that you, at the those who've watched the movie at the end, this could take place right after they got the restaurant and they go into the building and then they can fix it up, you know, like they clean up, we can clean up the clutter, fix the rotten wood, clean, add the decorations, the furniture and all that. And they can keep it true to the theme, but they can also add some new things to kind of decide like different plants, different background from the stage, maybe different lights, maybe different tables and all that. But also said that it kind of stays true to the theme at the same time. I was thinking it'll be amazing to add that in Princess Majestic Quest. And then something can happen related to the shadows and the shadow man, or maybe something to do with the magic store in the game sorry my throat went funny with the magic storm in the game because it will be cool to have something to relate to mom odie you like like her house like her boats treehouse thing you know with the pretty bottles and all that that would be really cool for a second chapter related to princess and the frog in this game i don't know what do you guys think i want to know Anyway, back to the conversation. So again, they're not getting rid of the attraction. They're just changing the theme to Princess and the Frog, which again, best movie ever, so underrated. And I'm actually really excited because I was thinking maybe if Disney in the future, they could do something like with the restaurants, like instead of something like a storm or anything bad happened to the restaurant, it could be like when they first start the restaurant, because I think that would be really cool. Like, you know, they enter the building the first time, the building's broken and damaged, but they'll fix it and make it look good. We fix the rubble, we design it, we pick the wallpaper, the curtains, the tablecloths. I'm just thinking it would be such a beautiful idea to have in the game. And yeah, I was thinking having the princess and the frog attraction in the end, Disney Magic Kingdoms would be really cool. and. What else? I guess that's pretty much it. All I wanted to say. I think it would be really cool. I although it'll probably take a while because Disney's Princess Majestic Quest has taken a very long time to like update. Like you notice, I have noticed that they take quite a while to update, but I don't mind too much because you know they're putting a lot of work and they did release two new worlds now. So I guess maybe they're trying to start, okay, we'll update with a brand new thing every month or two. It's because it's been three months since the last time they updated. But I understand, like, they're putting a lot of work into the thing and game designing and developing isn't easy. So, yeah, it's also probably hard due to the virus and all that. Okay. I'm gonna go with the pineapple one because it matches the rest of the fruits and I just think it looks really cool with the pineapple at the very top and all the bananas and the apples. You have brought up the rest of the food. I can't admit, it's so pretty. Like, the room is really coming together. It's beautiful. I know, right? Now we have to let people know it's here. Ooh. 
released the birds to catch people's attention. I've seen the parrots in the videos before. Lights the lamp that lets people know they may enter the fern room. Okay. Let's everyone know there is a feast at the palace. Okay, we're gonna do this in the next episode, hopefully. But anyway, that is all for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video of Princess Majestic Quest. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the little bell so you don't miss my videos. I try to post often as I can, and I'm glad to play this game again. I really enjoy it, and I will see you guys soon for the update. Bye!